California native Mike Kruko was born in Long Beach and attended San Gabriel High School, where he excelled as a catcher. A high school standout, Kruko was drafted as a catcher by the California Angels in the late rounds of the 1970 MLB Draft. Electing not to sign with the Angels, Kruko chose instead to attend college at California Polytechnic State University, where he became a pitcher, establishing several Cal Poly records that stand to this day. In 1973, Kruko was drafted for the second time, this time as a pitcher, as the eighth round selection of the Chicago Cubs. Kruko began his 14-year big league career with the Cubs in 1976 and was added to the Cubs' starting rotation the following season. As a Cubs starter, Kruko accumulated 45 wins in five solid seasons on a team that struggled to achieve mediocrity each year. Mike Kruko, who as I said, uh, pitched a two-hitter today, jacked his first major league home run. In 1982, Kruko was traded to the Philadelphia Phillies. In his only season with the Phillies, Kruko's 13 wins was second only to perennial Phillies ace Steve Carlton, making the 30-year-old Kruk the centerpiece in a trade with the San Francisco Giants that brought Joe Morgan, Lever Al Holland, and ultimately a 1983 NL Championship to the Phillies. Mike Kruko was off to San Francisco. Kruko thrived in his new home in San Francisco, where he would spend most of the next seven seasons anchoring the Giants' starting rotation, earning him the selection as the starting right-hander on the Giants' 1980s all-decade team. A leader in the clubhouse and in the community, Kruko received the Willie Mack Award, named in honor of Giants Hall of Fame legend Willie McCovey in both 1985 and 1986 for his spirit and leadership. His best season on the field would come in 1986, and he posted a record of 20 and nine with an ERA of 3.09. He earned NL All-Star honors that year and finished third in the NL Cy Young Balloting. The following season, he would lead the Giants to their first division championship in 16 years. Ball to second, could be two, there's one. The first double play, the game's over, and the Giants win it four to two. A torn rotator cuff and subsequent surgery would put an end to Krupp's 14-year playing career in 1989, a career that saw him finish with a 124-117 record with 1,478 strikeouts and a 3.90 ERA in 2,190 innings pitched. But Kruko's mark on the game he loved was far from over. Beginning as an occasional color analyst in 1990, Kruko became the Giants' full-time broadcaster in 1994, partnering with his former Giants teammate Dwayne Kuyper to form the highly popular Kruk and Kuyper announcing team. Noted for his deep knowledge of the game and sharp sense of humor, the 14-time Emmy Award winner was one of eight finalists for the 2017 Ford C. Frick Award for Baseball Broadcasting Excellence. He was named California's 2015 and 2017 Sportscaster of the Year by the National Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association. 2021 marks Mike Kruko's 30th season in the broadcast booth. And tonight, for both his playing and broadcasting excellence, we honor him as the newest inductee into the National Polish-American Sports Hall of Fame.